After over 200 hours, I have finally found the perfect graphic settings. Today, I'm going to show you how these settings along with everything else I explain and why I choose these settings. And I have three Warzone 2 config files you can try for yourself. Let's hop right into it. A lot of people are using all low settings currently. They are doing so to maximize FPS. But honestly, I don't think that's a good idea. Contrary to belief, running all low settings actually destroys your visibility. I do understand there are some people who need to run these settings to get a playable, stable frame rate. Don't worry about running all low settings to do so. I'm just going over the stuff that I've come up with since testing graphic settings for so long. The best graphic settings are a mix between high and low. I believe I have found the perfect mix and rest assured I will give you guys three config files one for the best quality, one for the max FPS, and then my current settings that I will call extreme quality. These are easy to download and use and will work for all PCs or laptops. Let's talk about my current settings. I'm gonna go over everything here for you guys. So I'm running full screen exclusive, your refresh rate, I'm running 1440p currently. My custom frame rate is set to unlimited. I've tested this. I just have it set to unlimited. It seems to give you better 1%. It's like when you cap the frames, it only stop. I don't know, it's weird, but just run unlimited. I think unlimited is the best way to go about it. That's about all we need to get to in here. Now let's talk about quality. So I'm running render resolution at 100%, obviously. Fidelity cast at 90. You can run this at pretty much any number you want. 90 seems to work best for me. I'm running Filmic SMAA to T2X normal because when you run SMA, it gives weird noise in dark areas and it's actually quite annoying to look at. So I don't do that. Normal anti-aliasing quality, video memory scale at 80. This will obviously change with you. It'll be different for everyone. You find the best number that matches you. 80 works for me. I recommend trying 80 unless you have a lot of stuff running on your VRAM. Texture resolution. So this one is important. Now let me tell you guys why this one's important. So I've noticed the texture resolution actually messes with your line of distance. So I don't know if you guys have noticed pixelated trees or something like that. They almost look like just bad 3D models. It has to do with texture resolution. That's the only setting I've noticed that actually does something with that. And texture resolution also makes your skins look better. So. I run this at high for this one. Texture resolution is really important. I, re I recommend turning this up if you want your skins to look better as well. There's one more setting that also messes with skins. We'll go over that as well. Texture filter antistropic, high, nearby level of detail, high, distant level of detail, high. These are gonna help with visibility. Clutter draw distance long, another visibility thing. Particle quality low, particle quality very low. So I, I've always just ran these low. You'll see there's some settings in here and I'll talk about them how in every FPS game I play, I turn these all the way down regardless because I think it gives me a benefit. Bullet impacts and spray off, persistent damage layers off, shader quality medium, tessellation near, terrain memory is still bugged. You can't really change anything, but when this is fixed, I will run this on max on-demand texture streaming. I recommend turning this off. It caused le uh, ping spikes for me. Uh, if you don't have good internet, this might be hurting you more than you think. The game doesn't look too different without it on or off, especially when you're running higher settings. So just turn it off and save yourself some space and your internet so it's not downloading while you're playing. Streaming quality, normal, volumetric. So these next couple settings are stuff that I always turn off just for better FPS in general. And I feel like it could help with visibility in the long term. Volumetric, deferred physics, water caustics, shadow map, screen space shadows, spot shadow quality, all off or very low. Spot cache. So this has been kind of something that people are recommending to stop crashes. I personally haven't seen a benefit of having it on or off but I also don't see a hit to my FPS with it on or off. So I have it on high. If you have the VRAM available, have it on high. 
Now, particle lighting, obviously low, ambient inclusion. This actually helps you see in darker areas. Keep that off. Screen space reflection high. I have this one on because this is another setting that deeply affects the way your skins look. So I have this on because I didn't grind for Orion for nothing. I want it to look really nice, right? Static reflection quality low, weather grid volumes off, Nvidia reflex. I have that on on. I've tried all three of them. I don't really notice a difference between all three of them, to be honest with you. Even with my CPU time and GPU time up, I didn't see a difference. So do with that as you will. View, I'm running a 115 FOV and I am running a 115 FOV because it seems to, and it might just be placebo, but the game seems to run better when I don't have the FOV maxed out and it has to render a little less. I haven't had many crashes in game other than when I go to change a setting. Other than changing a graphic setting, I haven't had any random crashes in game for a long time. And you may have not either, but I've been on 115 FOV and it's been really good. Other than that, I think that's that's it with the FOV. But yeah, I recommend trying these settings completely. As you can see in Warzone 2, I currently pull 180 to 210 FPS with these settings. With my max FPS config, I pull 190 to 230 depending on where I am. Keep in mind this video is recorded with my current settings and when I record I lose about 10 to 30 frames per second. The difference in FPS is very small for all the gains you get for running higher graphics. You should also note in the quality and FPS config the FPS is nearly the same or worse. Let's talk about that. So after extensive testing. I am under the idea that when you are running all low settings, your CPU takes on tasks that it should not. That is why in certain cases your FPS does not change whether you are running low or high settings or at least change enough for it to make sense. When you raise your graphic settings, it allows your GPU to take on tasks it needs to and frees up your CPU to do what it needs. Let's also not forget Warzone 2 is a horribly optimized game. So these findings are based on its current standing. In the end, every system is going to be different. However, I recommend getting all three of my Warzone 2 config files and trying all of them to see which one works best for you. There will be a link in the description to my personal Google Drive for the download. If you do not know how to use them, there will also be a video down there with step by step instructions. Don't worry, it takes less than a minute and it is very easy to do. Hopefully I helped you out. If you enjoyed, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of new weapon builds and other Warzone 2 com content coming your way, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.